Hey, Gary Baker here with 30minutemarketing.net. In this video, what we're going to be doing inside of Groove Funnels and Groove Pages is showing how these icons work, the options for the icons, as well as how to link them out, just like this Facebook icon right here. If I click on it, it links out to my 30 Minute Marketing Facebook page. So let's jump into Groove Funnels. Of course, if you don't have a GrooveFunnels account, link in the description, grab your free account and follow along. We'll go under Manage Sites and Funnels. Alternatively, you can come over to Apps and go under Groove Pages. And once you're inside of Groove Pages, you'll be open in the editor under one of your sites where you want to edit your social media icons. Of course, this is a page that we created from a template. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see the icons right here. You can simply click on the icon and then what you do is click configure. Then you have the options for the icon you want to use. And then you can scroll down, you can change the size, color, and then you can link to a URL. Let me just show you one of the caveats when you actually link out to one of these and what happens. So let's say I want to link out to LinkedIn. So you have the LinkedIn icon right here. Go ahead and select that icon. Come under configure. And then what you'll see is, is this icon actually changes to question circle. So you scroll down, so you scroll down and you link to URL. You paste in a URL, which is your LinkedIn URL. You can either have it open in a new tab or the same tab. We'll go ahead and just have it open in a new tab. But what's gonna happen is the size and the icon is going to reset to the default settings when you click update. And then when you go back to the editor, as you can see here, it changed to a question mark icon. So a bit of a bug there, but it's simple enough, easy to fix. Simply click on the icon again, come under configure, come under here and just type in LinkedIn. And you'll see multiple options here for the LinkedIn icons. So just click on that LinkedIn icon that you wanna select right there. It'll select the square icon. And then you need to adjust the size because the size here that we're using to match the other ones is going to be the 3XL. Again, it sets the default back to 4XL and the circle question mark, but simply just click update. After you've made those changes, you go back. Now you can see that the LinkedIn, LinkedIn square icon is back there, matching up with the other ones in the same size. Simply come up to publish, select publish, Site publish in progress, changes may go live within a few minutes, but it may take longer. Simply click on the link right here that's hosted with groovepages.com. Once that page refreshes, you'll scroll down to your social media icons. As you can see here, now you have your LinkedIn, your Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Vimeo. You do see that the LinkedIn icon is not the same size, but the link does work. It takes you to LinkedIn. So for some reason that change didn't take, let's go back to group pages, click on that icon again, go under configure, try it again, 3XL, go ahead and update, go ahead and publish. Site publish in progress changes usually go live within a few minutes, but may take longer. Go back, refresh the page. And now you can see that it is bigger than the other ones, so that does appear to be a bug. Of course, if you find bugs in Groove Pages or Groove Funnels as it is beta, simply come down to this question mark and you can open a ticket with support. You can also come over here to this little icon here that says feedback. And you can click here and you can come under where it talks about Groove Funnels is currently in beta and you can click report bugs. That will open up the bugs for Groove Pages, and you can simply do a search. And you can see here some information for icons. You can search through that to see if the bug is already in there, or you can go ahead and you can just create a new post and create a bug. That's the joys, and also the benefit of being inside of Groove Pages as it is still in beta. You get the opportunity to work on it, help the community out if you feel so inclined. If not, I'd recommend that you go ahead and wait and come back when they get a few more bugs worked out. But I enjoy playing with it. It works for the most part. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. 30 minute timer right here. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos just like the ones you see on the end screen. Click those, keep watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.